Good morning. This is devotional number 377. And we're looking this week at the topic of the glory of God. And I'd like us to look at the glory of God as it relates to the Lord Jesus Christ, as it relates to individuals and the unsaved who glory in their shame. As I mentioned in yesterday's devotional, God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, is prominently featured in the Bible. Indeed, He is the grand subject of all Scripture. According to John 5, 3, excuse me, John 5, 36 to 47. But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he hath sent, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? The Greek word translated as honor in verses 41 and 44 is doxa, Strong's number 1398, which we looked at in a number of passages yesterday. Doxa also appears as glory in the following significant citations. John 1.14 announces, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Likewise, we read in John 7.18, He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Doxa is also translated as glory in verse 2 of Hebrews 1, 1 to 3. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Prior to the completion of the New Testament, around uh, around, uh, AD uh, 90, God did reveal himself to different individuals, such as Abraham, Moses, and Paul, just to name a few, as we see in the following verses. Acts 7, 2 states, And this is Stephen's uh, testimony. And he said, Men, brethren, and fathers, hearken. The God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia 
before he dwelt in Karen or Haran. Uh, Exodus 24, 16 also describes, and the glory of Jehovah abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. Acts 9, 3 to 6 discusses Saul's first encounter. This is Saul, who eventually would be Paul, uh, with the living God. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Since A.D. 90 approximately, however, God reveals himself only through the words of Holy Scripture. The Bible indicates that unsaved man is spiritually dead and that he glories or boasts in his shame or sinfulness as we read in these subsequent passages. And this is, by the way, the same Greek word, doxa, 1391, for glories. And the word for shame is Strong's number 152. Philippians 3.19 says, Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. 2 Corinthians 4.2 renders this same word, uh, Strong's number 152, as dishonesty. But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. In Jude one thirteen, we find uh, a portrait of the, the penalty of death and annihilation that awaits the unsaved. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame. Again, this is the same word, Strong's number 152. Wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever.